Boston's Back Bay neighborhood, we discover a sweet Japanese treat that rises to any occasion. It started from 1999, a small bakery shop in Japan, Osaka. Yuji, the owner, make amazing desserts and all the kids in the town really loved it. And he's like, I wanted to have more people be able to taste my treats. Affectionately nicknamed for its founder, Beard Papa's popularity expanded quickly in Asia and later in the U.S. This location on Newbury Street opened in February 2024. We have a line of like 200 people right when we open. For owner Christine Tao, who grew up in China, the brand was a familiar face. That's their signature, you know, just cream puff. And they've been doing it over 30, 40 years. The sweet scent those puffs emit lured me right in. We do have customers coming into the store and they're like, oh, it smells so good in here. The shoe pastry, made from a closely guarded secret recipe, bakes up big. It's soft turd inside, but like a pie crust outside, like crunchy. Once it's cool, you can dip the puff in a flavor of your choosing. Oreo, green tea, or our choice, chocolate. Hey, I want to try it. Dip, baby, dip. Got a good chunk of it. After that, it's filled with the slow cooked custard. One full pump, and then a small one. For the taste test, I opted for the original, sprinkled with powdered sugar and filled with vanilla. Crunchy outside, ooey gooey, mm -hmm. yummy inside. The cream is delicious. Yeah. Wow. So many customers saying, super messy, but uber good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. We call it punchki. Some people say pachki. Uh, but we call it a punchki. Call it what you will, this Polish pastry will satisfy any sweet tooth. The idea traditionally was that it was something you would eat on Fat Tuesday when you were trying to use up all the sweets in the house before you would give them up for Lent. Owner Rob Liani has run Coffee Time Bake Shop in his hometown of Salem for the past 35 years. When I was 14, I got a job in Dunkin' Donuts. Uh, my cousin and her husband owned a franchise and I was washing dishes after high school. Eventually learned how to bake donuts there. I really just liked baking. I liked the feeling of making something with your hands. Fast forward a few decades to the 1990s, now running his own bakery, Liani was prompted to add punchkis to the menu. I learned about it through the Bakers Association. They were promoting them at a time. The first five years was pretty good and then we really got good at it. Before we actually cut it, what we're gonna do is we're gonna press down on it. So Now with his son Joe by his side, Liani says they've mastered the recipe. Here we go. Here we go. Beautiful. Making the shell is pretty much an all day process. If they start them at like 6.30 in the mornings, the last ones might be fried off around two in the afternoon. The dense, rich dough is fried longer than a donut. Minutes on each side instead of seconds. Used to be a drummer. We'll roll them in the sugar while it's still hot so it just melts into the crust. After they cool off, they're sugared again, cut in half and filled with a fruit filling. For this batch, raspberry and whipped cream. The first few years, it was mostly Polish people that came in and, and got them. And I remember once a little old lady comes in and says, are you Polish? And it's like, no, I'm Italian, but I know how to make these. Now it's just pretty much everybody buys them. It doesn't matter what ethnicity they are. A lot of people just come in and enjoy them. We are part of the community. We have a tremendous amount of goodwill here. So many customers come in that knew me from a long time ago. My, my high school math teacher still comes in, Mr. Rizaldi, you know? <laughs> Coffee Time Bake Shop makes seasonal treats all year long. Irish soda bread for St. Patrick's Day, Zeppeli for St. Joseph's Day, and fresh apple cider donuts in the fall. Those and the punski are all available for a limited time, so make sure you call ahead to see if they're in season. And back to Beard Papa's, they've expanded to more than 475 stores in 15 countries. In the U.S., they're at number 15, and that means 15 states. Coming up, bursting at the seams with Greek treats.